Evstal and two. The rise of an Italian company, according to ex experts, heralds a new era in regional air mobility. They developed the unique N2 platform, which enables the construction of various vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. They currently have a six person capacity, a range of up to 497 miles, a top speed of up to 186 miles per hour, and an environmentally friendly hybrid power system. You see a genuine model of the N2 version as well well as a computer. It is a two-seater that may be used for both personal and professional purposes. There are manual, remote, and automatic use controls. Additionally, the crew is prepared to take the user's preference into account for various technological systems and finishing touches thanks to the production's flexibility. Testing on the N2, which is still a prototype, is planned for this year. Collins Aerospace Air Lounge This is how thin air will update the A350 and A330 cabins. Within a few years, it is promised that the new Collins Aerospace Air Lounge seats will be installed. Therefore, starting in 2024, the business class as a whole will begin to shine in new hues. Priestman Good, a group of London designers, assisted Finn specialists in the development. The final product is different from other comparable items on the market and was motivated by furniture found in homes. The Scandinavian aesthetic is characterized by clean lines and subdued hues. Additionally, the absence of intricate mechanics results in a shell that is comparable to sit in as well as to lie in. According to a Finnair spokesman, this enables you to move more freely and adopt postures that conventional airplane seats do not. Other grades of seats were also unveiled by the corporation. Even if they don't appear to be very outstanding, they have been enhanced. They disclosed the development's entire investment cost, which came to roughly $204 million. The Glass when it comes to numerous future technologies, the inventions of Japanese engineers must be mentioned. We're looking at Glass Today, a collaboration between researchers at Kyoto University and one of the top building companies in Japan. Anyone who has seen Interstellar will recognize the style. In 20 seconds, the conical structure completes one revolution. The usual earthly gravity is therefore provided by the centrifugal force. The building measures 328 feet in radius and 1300 feet in height. Additionally, people will be moved around using a unique hexagonal space track transit system. A spokesperson for Kyoto University claims that other countries' space development plans do not include a plan like this. The project will probably take a hundred years to complete, but a simpler version might be available by 2050, according to early projections. Shiftwear. For those who appreciate fashion, here are a pair of unique shoes. Change the design of these shiftwear sneakers as you please. To get your design on the unique flexible inserts, simply launch the app and draw it. The sneakers can even endure machine washing, according to the creators, who clarify that e-ink technology is employed and that all components are extremely well shielded from moisture. The authors made the decision to continue after considering the potential of changing the shoes' color. The sole of the sneakers has Kevlar fibers, and they charge as you walk. They also have an accelerometer, gyroscope, and built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This allows you to program the pattern to alter whenever you jump or tilt. $150 will be required on Indiegogo for a pair. The effort raised more than $760,000, much to the delight of the sponsors. The Shiftware website isn't accessible right now though. Gura Terra Incognita Space Rover the next design comes from a Dutch designer with a stellar resume. He has collaborated with Microsoft, Netflix, 20th Century Fox, and other well-known corporations. And today, we're going to demonstrate his planetary exploration rover to you. The Gura Terra Incognita Space Rover is the name of the six-person crew-capable vehicle. 
the Rover's modular architecture and six electric motors for reliability make it simpler to maintain and replace parts. The compartmentalizing hull, as well as the automatic systems in case of emergency, provide a 72% chance of survival. Additionally, the ASA technology will enable the Rover to operate safely and traverse in three dimensions. Oceanics Busan South Korean experts also offered their vision for the metropolis of the future. They created Project Oceanics Busan, an aquatic smart city capable of providing all of its own energy and water needs. It has already been delivered to the UN's main office. In the port of Busan, a prototype is currently being actively developed. It will be finished in 2025. The city will have a population of roughly 10,000 people and be spread among three floating platforms covering an area of 0.29 square miles, according to the presentation. Living in harmony with nature is the primary message. In order to lessen the effects of climate change, it is intended to deploy smart construction technology. The city will also be able to harness the energy of the sun, rain, waves, currents, and tides. Stellar Dynamics Griffin RE860 This motorcycle idea is presented on DeviantArt, a website that is well-liked among illustrators, designers, and artists. The car has a lot of similarities to video games and movies like the Tron series. With individual electric motors in each of its 13-foot-long wheels, it can reach a top speed of nearly 300 miles per hour. The bike tilts roughly 55 degrees while the user is seated in a seat reminiscent of a vehicle thanks to the suspension. The Agate Gyroscope, ESP Stabilization, Acceleration, and Brake Control are just a few of the numerous comfort devices available. Formula 2 The next invention is a product of the Czech Republic. We were surprised by this electric racing buggy from a local designer. The project, known as Formula 2, was created to be used off-road, such as riding on sand dunes in addition to on asphalt. The pilots are seated in a unique pod that has the proper wheel platforms based on the track surface, which is an uncommon aspect of the design. You'll need to use special droids to enter a racing pit in order to switch platforms. The concept is somewhat reminiscent of Supermoto ring motors events, where the track's asphalt to ground coverage is roughly 70 to 30 percent. Although a mass-produced version of the car is doubtful, the author 3D printed a scaled-down Formula 2 model. Additionally, in the game Track Mania 2, you can operate the vehicle. Liquid 3 this is a liquid tree or outdoor photobioreactor, also referred to as a liquid tree. The layout is really basic. In essence, it is a 159 gallon tank of water with tiny algae that emit oxygen and take up carbon dioxide. According to estimates, two 10 year old trees at around 2,153 square feet can be replaced by one reactor. The version displayed here was created in Serbia and is currently in use in Belgrade. The future looks promising. The photobioreactor can be erected in places where it is impossible to plant trees or lawns because it is both relatively compact and easy to install. Given that Belgrade is the fourth most polluted city in the nation, this technology is extremely important for the city. Additionally, the construction will allow the effects of the surrounding coal-fired power stations to be mitigated. Robotic Guide Dog Thea Interesting news from the UK. A guide dog alternative has been developed by Loughborough University. The app includes several features and was influenced by many virtual reality projects, including the ability to acquire information about the weather, traffic density for pedestrians, and other crucial things. Voice control processing and responding to audio signals, for instance. You can enter an address and the system will automatically choose the optimal route based on current information. The device has 
has 270 degrees of vision thanks to a collection of sensors and cameras, and it is made to be held in one hand. According to the developers, each of these features can boost a user's walking pace by roughly 200%. Despite the fact that the device is still a prototype, there is a lot of interest in it. Neom the Line Muhammad bin Salman, the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince, unveiled a highly intriguing concept in January 2021. The name of a revolutionary city is visible on the screen. According to the project website, the line redefines the idea of urban development and what future cities could look like. It starts out with some unexpected numbers. The metropolis will be 656 feet wide and 106 miles long. It will be home to about 9 million people. And all of the city's energy requirements will be met by renewable sources. With a high-speed railroad, it will only take 20 minutes to go from one end of the city to the other. And everything needed for a comfortable living will be within 5 minutes of walking distance. It is well known that a region in the nation's north has already been designed for this undertaking. But not everyone favored this notion. Some say it resembles a metropolis from a Black Mirror episode. Isn't this how horror films begin? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell buttons.